I would like to show you how to create a custom keyboard shortcut using one command as an example. Going to Tools, pull down menu, selecting Customize, and selecting Keyboard. From Keyboard, it shows me the categories and the commands. I'm going to select View menu, and I'm going to select Zoom Previous. I would like to have a keyboard shortcut for this command. Currently there are no keys assigned. I'm going to click in the press new shortcut key text box. Holding down shift, holding down control, and holding down the Z key. And releasing all three now. I have now selected control shift Z as my new shortcut key. It indicates that it is not assigned, which is good, because I do not want to overwrite any existing shortcuts. If you're curious, you can select Show All, and it will show you all of the keyboard shortcuts. AutoCAD refers to them as accelerators. Down at the bottom, you can see the function keys that I have been using. F8 to toggle ortho mode, for example. I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to select Assign. The window indicates that customizing this menu file can lead to migration problems, but that's OK because if it does not migrate, it is very easy to create this shortcut again with the next installed version of AutoCAD. I'm going to select Yes, and I'm going to Close. I now will test that keyboard shortcut. I'm going to draw some lines on the screen. I'm going to zoom in. Zoom window again. And now instead of using the icon that says zoom previous and it now indicates that I can use control shift plus Z, I will now use that shortcut. Holding down control, holding down shift, and now I am simply going to tap the Z key once, tap the Z key a second time. Releasing the keys, you can see that it is working. You can go ahead and apply this to any command available and it will speed up the process instead of having to go to the different icons. Now, I can also type L and enter, and that brings up the line command. This is not a keyboard shortcut. This is a command alias. I can change some of the command aliases as well. Going to Tools, going to Customize, Edit Custom Files, and select Program Parameters. This opens up Notepad and it shows me the program parameter file. I'm going to scroll down and here's where it lists the command aliases and the commands associated with that alias. I'm going to scroll down to line. This is L, comma, and then the asterisk and line. So when I type L and enter AutoCAD will type line for me. I'm going to make one change here. For example, looking at the copy, it shows me that I can type either CO or CP. I'm going to make one change here, and instead of having to type two separate letters, I'm going to select and type CC for copy. I'm going to close this. Save changes, yes. And now I will try typing CC and enter. It indicates that it is not functioning yet, so I have to type the following command reinit. This will reinitialize the PGP file, and that's what I want. I could have also exited AutoCAD, started AutoCAD again, and that would reinitialize the PGP file. I will now select OK and typing CC, enter, will now work. Another way to do this is if you have the express pull-down menu, 
you can select tools and you can select command alias editor. This shows you the commands and if I scroll down it should show that I have made a modification to the copy alias and there it is. So there's two different ways to do this. Notice how it tells us that the current AutoCAD session has been updated. So I do not have to type the reinit command. And that's how you can modify or create accelerator keys and modify the PGP file.